Hello, welcome back. Last time I learned about a new hazard related to this statue right here. And because of that hazard, I was sent back and got to experience floor 24, which sure wasn't experience. Uh, I cannot be sure that I'll get to the birch tree today. It's reasonably likely... Ah, that gem is back because I never finished this floor. I got sent back by the rude statue. Okay. So, let's see here. I would probably desire... Oh boy. What would I desire? Let's say this. Oops. Oh, I got a little double fire on that. That's hazardous in this game. Let's just take this one step at a time. Gonna go here. Place this at the appropriate time, which is no. Take Jim. Swap. Okay, so if I did it in this pattern, this would be a pretty, uh, pretty chill way to get through the whole floor. All right, that way I don't really have to think about timing and stuff. I can just kind of do things easily. All right, so. Watch out for that stairway. I'm going to pick it up and put it here. I'll certainly take you. I sure did. All right, so statue out of the way. Stairway will actually work now. Whoa, that... <laughs> that gem noise startled me because I was hoping nothing unusual would happen. Gaining a gem isn't all that unusual. 21, almost there. Uh, so I don't actually know, thinking about it, if this will go all the way to floor 220, 250, 255, whatever it was. It might not. Alright, so I'm forced to get a shadow trail here. Which means I'm forced to go down this way and then have the leech be in a bad spot. I might want to bump the wall a few times here first. Let's think about some timing. Yeah, I think the overall flow of this is going to be wait here for some time, take this floor tile, place it here. Oh, I can stall with my wand. I don't have to move. Okay, so I'm going to stall with my wand, not worry about my shadow. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, because if I walk, I won't make it. But if I take, I can. However, I need to circle. I can also bump the wall here. Yeah, that doesn't incur any wrath of my shadow or anything. Game, you're doing that thing, I can tell. So... Okay, this is still a bit complicated. Be careful where you step. Hmm. And I've circled the wrong way with my clone now. Okay, well I can... recircle, I guess? Okay... This won't fix any of my problems, though. So I had to make a right input, and because I didn't, I'm dead forever, right? Because there's nothing else I can do here. I'm stuck in this circle pattern. Stepping west traps me with my shadow and kills me. Stepping north traps me with my shadow and kills me. Stepping east gets me back into this cycle. But I can't step south-north. Like, I can't face north from here and place this block. So I'm just dead here. Alright, so if I'm just dead, let's feel free to experiment with things. Just in case I can find a way to not be dead. Like, I'll take this up here and show the problem. Can't face east, can't go anywhere, can't bump into shadow where it kills me. Okay. So, my misstep was going from here to here. Instead, I need to go from here to here. Or, no, it's the other way around. So I can't protect myself from this leech. Ah, oh, good grief. Okay. So, <laughs> so my first moves are to walk here, pick this up, step here, place it... S 
since I've picked that up, I have no pressure to move off of that tile. Once I've done that, I can bump this wall or take and replace this block until that leech has turned around and gone by. At that point, once I've stepped here, I must step south, go around counterclockwise, pick this up, continue counterclockwise, hide here, bump the wall until the leech goes by, place the thing there, and then I have enough room to start moving around. Okay. And I have eight extra lives in case I need them. Let's get a bit closer. Alright, so what was the misstep? Stepping east here? Right, so then I wait. Okay, yeah, so shadow movement rules are a bit different. I need a little more space. I'm gonna remove the problem of that leech. Okay, then I need to switch which side the other leech is on, and have a block in my wand when I commit to that next action. I can't get there in time, so I'll have to wait. I will choose to take this block. Leech, you're actually fine. I'll leave you alone, you'll leave me alone. Okay. Check it out, I reached a tree. There's a gem there. Okay, that I can easily get. Now I'm going to fall into some sort of trap by doing this. Not immediately. Okay, so gem is in my possession. Do I want to change my numbers at all? All I could do is swap HP and locust, which would do nothing good for me. Or go back to floor 8 and get a bunch of locusts, which... would take me all the way back to floor 8. Yeah, I could go to floor 7 with a bunch of locusts. And then it was pretty reasonably quick to get here with that. That might be a worthwhile investment. Let's tree first, though. What does Lil Han see in her memories? This is the big question. I would like to rest, yes. Will I learn your actual name? The game's gonna quit. Pop, there it goes. Can I do this now and have it work? Maybe. This is the title screen music, but not the title screen. <laughs> that fake out, that is 100% intentional. You hear this and you think, oh, the whole game restarted. All my progress was reset. All right. So really early memories. Yeah, so she'll go back and catch up with her mother. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing this is why she was searching for her birth certificate and stuff, but, like, we need more to that story. Was that the entire... Oh, that was short. And the room resets when I do that. Okay. All right, so memory is not such a... Well, <laughs> how much can there be if you're a tiny little baby just having a nurse there? Uh, okay, so I think I want to go to floor 7, which lets me skip ahead to floor 23, which then isn't too much to traverse. This is what I want, right? Let me make sure. Of some interest, actually, I can do this relatively safely. What does Lil Han see in the carcass area? Will it be same thing? All right, I hear it there. I hear it there, so it's northeast. Let's make sure. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, so north. Four. Five. Okay, I'm going to take a different strategy here. So I went five north, and I was hearing it getting louder. Got to triangulate more intelligently. One. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, my strategy didn't really work. Yes, it did. Eleven, 
12 13 14 15 16 Okay, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 16 an even number an even number hold on why does that seem wrong a fence post problem eight is the correct number to go back or is it nine Okay, so 15 wide field where I'm hearing the sound. The center of a 15 wide field is 8. Yeah, so plus 8 from the start is the correct... I'm in the right place. Okay. Go directly north and you'll reach the carcass. Or whatever is here in her experience. There it is. All right, well. Well, yeah, it rings. This seems completely unchanged. I'm sure if I wandered around, I'd see little creepy buggy guys. Can I just force that encounter by doing this enough times? Yes. All right, if I want to farm bug encounters... Ooh, that happens once. Oh, now what if that does something different at the start? Having encountered the little bug, maybe that gives me another destination. It is something that I don't think I've ever seen happen more than once in one trip. Oh, interesting. Hold on. Maybe I have something to do with here. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, and I should be directly north of start. This seems the same. I don't have... Well, there's something in my wand, I guess, is the thing. Is there another sound elsewhere? No, and with no information I won't be able to track that down. Okay, I tried. Didn't seem to be anything. Alright, end it all. Restart. Okay, so I'm going to be back at the tree. Gem's still in the ground. I'm in this position now. Okay, so my decision was that I will go back to floor 7. Therefore, I have 8 HP, so I'm going to swap these two. Uh, I needed to do it in the other order. So this goes somewhere. No, it's, well, it's inconvenient either way. That's fine, it's doable. Got plenty of space to swap things around. Now, right, so I want... Li value 28, Br value 7. And 7 is what I desire because specifically it takes me to a floor with a secret exit so I can get out of here easily. Okay, right, and this is the one where I have to set up the collision. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So all I gotta do is fill that in and the phase will eventually work out. It's actually that simple. Okay, that's slower than doing this. Oh, but that disrupted the leech phase because now it's colliding with the grub. Okay, so not quite. 
There. Alright, so you go away. You go here. I fall. I skip a few floors. And I think I have to do this a second time to get quickly to where I'm going. So I'm here on 23. That skips to what? 25. Yeah, let's definitely skip 24. 24 is a nightmare. I never... Did I try interacting with this empty chest? I think I did not. Oh. My memory of you. The voice of fallen, all who were and those who have yet to be. I think Gray read this note. Yes. So Lev is told to scram. Got it. But yeah, so I have to have seen this clue to get here, I think. Hope you remember. I wonder what happens if I fall here. I'm not going to test right now. I'll keep my 28 extra lives for future use. 29 extra lives. There we go. Right, and for a nice chill time, just do it this way. Nothing much to worry about. Perfectly pleasant. Now I do need to worry about the mean statue there. And bumping into grubs and stuff. The mean statue is much more dangerous. Okay. Stairway there. Go down. 27. I remember how to do it, right? Theoretically. Like this. Wait here. Like this. Get around again. I can make it there. Okay. Oops! I bumped into my shadow. <laughs> like, I'm constantly under threat here. There's no safety. But I have 31 extra lives, so it's fine. Okay, don't bump your shadow. It's surprisingly solid. Alright, so, down. Alright, this looks familiar. Could skip ahead if I wanted to sacrifice my idols, but I don't. What do you see here? The last time you saw the same thing that Gray saw. Alright, so here's mean statue. Watch out. I do absolutely have to try. Now, see, Mean Statue kicked me out of Void entirely. I was just back where I was. Actually, putting a stairway in front of one of those as gray might do something extremely interesting. Yeah, we're going to have to do that for sure. And how do I get to that mural? By ditching the lion somewhere, probably? Alright, that should do. Sure. Right, this is the one I don't know. This is the one I haven't decoded. I think I have a route to maybe doing that. It's just I, I'm not feeling like it's the time to be working on that as this character. But my thinking is that since I've I've noticed that reading order is kind of funny here, I need to figure out the reading order, which just involves consulting my cipher. Like I could do this at any time, I just haven't yet. Then use that to infer which positions. The following floor is with the presence or absence of tail. Tells me tail. We're about to meet that thing, person. Okay. Okay. You are of a different form. 
you're showing your true self here, maybe, instead of, okay. Bunk. Dot, dot, dot. Can I die here? No? Maybe? All right, you're like extra creepy here. But still choosing not to eat me. I do wonder what would have happened if I... How much do I wonder this? Very, very much. Enough to sacrifice. Oh? Okay. Okay. So I got some words, but that was all. I need to figure out how to assassinate you. Hmm. And I currently don't know how to do that. I feel like it has to do with this statue. This mystery statue that I don't understand. Hmm. 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 Each statue is different, so I shouldn't assume that just because one for a statue does something with a stairway in front of it that this one would. Like, I have seen this statue do something. It has disappeared when I lined up a whole bunch of things in secret to... 24? Whatever it was. Anyway, okay, so that was interesting and different. This is not the lawnmower music. This is just the other ambience. Okay, so different ambience here. Uh, yeah, tail, present, I understand. Sure. Uh, right, okay, so. BO31, hard mode, new layout. Bull is here. Four eye is here. Pressure plate is here. Am I supposed to do something with this ghost? There's no way I can rescue the ghost. The ghost's gonna die. I'm fairly certain. Okay, so let's look at the room before doing anything. The clearly almost set up thing is go here, push this north, walk here. The bull is kind of in the way for that. So I think instead I need to take a block, put it there, but then I lose you. Therefore the bull needs to be the one on the pressure plate. Because if I lose you... Okay, so if I take a block and put it here, I get charged, I have to run away, then I have to run, I can only go this way, and I get charged, I can only go this way, and I get charged, and I'm at a dead end. So. The only other thing that looks like I could do it is to push the south, use that south face that I get from that to put a block here, take another block, put it here, and then do something to somehow get the bull onto the plate. Probably like take this block, put it there, take this, put it he here, charge this way, dodge that way. Seems like that'll work. Bye, ghost. Okay, well, getting this where I want it is not as simple as I was hoping, but maybe I can improvise something like this. Yes. That will work. All right, I can do a few floors. Hi, eggs. You are kind of a little bit in the way. Just means I'm gonna have to be caterpillaring, which I wanted to do anyway here. All right, so forced move, forced move, forced move, forced move, forced move. So this is the initial puzzle state. And I mean, I can't do anything here, so forced move. This is the initial puzzle state. I don't think I care enough about that chest to bother with it. I'm more interested in doing something that makes me progress on the puzzle. I'm pretty sure the correct thing to do here is... whoops, well I messed up. Okay, I'm probably dead.
Yeah, almost certainly. I was planning to step back on that glass block, but that doesn't work because that's a glass block. Yeah, if I go here, that has that problem. If I push that off, I'm just I'm just nowhere doing nothing. Okay. So, initial puzzle state, this. Yeah, okay, so I can't really use this to create, to like, move this block into this column. That's what I wanted to do. If I'm not doing that, what am I doing? Best it seems like I can do is take this and do a dance that puts it here while breaking those four. Well, those five. Doesn't seem especially useful, because then I'm just here, in a little bracket where I can't actually reach anything of value. I could caterpillar my way all the way back here and claim this block, if that were of value. Maybe it could be. Yeah, I could see some value to that. Because then I can make more stable floor here by doing this. Leaving this open for a maybe return trip. Why would I want to return, though? No, wait. Take, walk, put. Then I still have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I think I might even be able to claim that chest if I wish. Mmm, yeah, that's doable. Like this. Alright, a little tedious, but doable. That works. Isolated ghosts. Chest. Yeah, it's a familiar room, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I see it. <laughs> uh, what was I looking at? What am I doing? I just completely went silent there. So, walk here. Pick this up. Step, 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 place. And then I have no horizontal there anymore. But maybe I can manufacture it from this. Because then with three, I can move you down here and have a tetromino. Pick this up, put it there, have a 2x2. Two two. It'd be great if I could claim that solid. Claiming some glass can probably help me turn my 2x2 two two into a different something. Yeah, like put glass there, pick that up, then use the horizontal to get back and forth. Sounds reasonable. What was that plan? This? Yeah. Okay. And I'm just sacrificing the chest. I think I have removed my option of ever getting the chest right now. That's... F mm, strictly speaking, I might not have. Oh, I can't actually claim either of those. Hmm, okay. Never m Why can I? No. No, I can't. Right? I mean... I c ah! Game, what was that about? Quit it. Timing matters sometimes. Okay, well, all I've done is moved into this row and lose access to those two. Well, that's not all I've done. I'm moving this entire package over. That's actually meaningful. 
Okay, that is actually meaningful. I think this lets me claim the chest now. There we go. That will work. Cool. I'll take that, and then I can claim this, and I have full control. There we go. Cool. Alright, well, I think I'm satisfied for now. I'm here on floor 34, two in my descent. Got plenty of extra lives to the point where I can safely ignore chests and not really worry about them. I have no reason to sacrifice to either bee statues or dubious merchants or anything else. And as long as I don't anger the court, which I shouldn't need to because I can actually just use these normally, that should be fine. What is my gem count right now? Is it 22? It is. Getting very close. I'll see that 24th at some point. Alright, see you next time to continue from here.